welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag. Well, actually, not necessarily a what's in my bag. It's more so a what fits in my bag. And for today's bag, it is going to be this little beauty right here. Oh, I'm so in love with this. As you guys know, if you've been following me, you know that I picked up this beautiful Tiffany Blue Chanel mini rectangle in my recent Chanel birthday haul. I also picked up a couple other pieces, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. And I am just so in love with this. A lot of people talk about having a unicorn bag, and I think for me, that is this bag for sure, because I tend to gravitate a lot towards black bags and kind of neutral colors. I don't really get really crazy when it comes to the color of my bag. Now I do get a little crazy when it comes to my small leather goods. If you didn't check out my Louis Vuitton small leather goods collection video, check that out as well. You know that I love like a lot of colors, but with handbags, I don't really gravitate towards colorful bags too much just because I tend to wear a lot of black and neutrals and then I might wear a pop of color up top and sometimes I feel like it would clash with the handbags so to make a long story short, this is definitely a unicorn piece for me because it's something very unique and different than what I currently own in my collection. So I haven't had this bag long enough to do a proper review. It is February and I just got this bag at the end of January, so I haven't really been able to wear it that much. However, I have done um, a couple experiments to see kind of what fits in the bag. So in today's video, what I'm going to do, I have a whole bunch of products. I just grabbed a ton of things that I typically carry in my handbag and I wanted to show you what fits because this bag comes in a lot of different colors so if this is a bag that you own or a bag that you've been kind of on the fence about because you want to know what fits I am here to help you today because I have a bunch of things and I'm going to show you that today so without further ado if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and if you want to see what fits in this beauty right here then keep watching okay guys what I usually like to do in situations like this I'm going to spin around and I'm going to show you what fits in this beauty right here okay guys here is the beauty queen herself I am so in love with the color of this bag and I just don't think it's gonna pick up on camera how beautiful it is but it is just the most stunning Tiffany blue this of course is in a uh, lamb skin now I did buy this bag pre-loved as you know so you can see on the top of the bag pocket there is a little bit of where the girl who had this prior said that she wore it once with jeans but I'll be honest I'm actually okay with this because you're not really gonna see it too much usually when I wear it I'm gonna try to wear it with lighter clothing and you're just gonna see this outside but it's so beautiful now it has the silver toned hardware uh, open it like so it has a single flap and you can see on the interior there is a back pocket there is another pocket, and then there's just one large compartment. Really, really beautiful bag. So, what I am going to do today, I have a bunch of items that I want to share with you to show you what fits. I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of different things that I usually carry in my purse, and I plan on kind of showing you a lot of different like combinations. Like for example, let's say you're someone that likes to carry your phone in a card holder, or you're someone that wants to carry a small wallet. So I thought that would be the best way to do this, to just kind of show you a lot of different ways in the past I've done like what's in my bags to show you what I carry but this time around I want to kind of show you what fits and just show you that even though this bag is tiny you can definitely fit all of your essentials which is key in my mind when it comes to small bags okay so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I would always have to carry is my phone now I have the iPhone XR and you can see the iPhone XR fits in there nicely. So if I have a phone, the next thing that I'm going to need is I am going to need a little wallet. So I have this little beauty right here. So you can fit that in the back there nicely. And you can see with putting these two items in, there is a little bit of room over here. So now let's see, I'm going to need maybe a little lip balm so i have this nice gucci lip balm that i'm gonna pop right there 
and there is a little bit of room if I want to um, put my you can either choose to put maybe your airpods right here that would fit nicely or if you don't want to put your airpods how about some hand sanitizer I have some from Bath and Body Works that I could pop in there now one thing with hand sanitizer what I probably will do is when I use hand sanitizer is I will take it and I will put it in here this is one of the Zumoni organizer like little uh, pouches so that way if it spills I don't have to worry about it spilling in the bag so you can see right now we have a little wallet, we have my phone, again my iPhone XR, a little lip balm, and then some hand sanitizer. And then if I wanted, I could probably just pop, you know, some more lip gloss on top. And you can see that closes and that fits beautifully. Okay, well speaking of which, um, I will mention this in another video, but I recently purchased this Chanel. Uh, this is a, like a liquid lip and then on one side it has a gloss. This is so good you guys. I love it. I'm actually wearing it in today's video. So, okay, so that is one combination. So let's go ahead and let's take this stuff out and let's look for another combination. Let's say that you're going to carry your phone. So if you carry your phone, that kind of opens you up to fit a little more. So what you could do, if you're anyone like me, like I love this. This is the Chanel Cosmetic Pouch, and that fits in there nicely. And what I like to do is keep my bills in here. And if you haven't checked out my recent Instagram reel, I show you different ways to use this. It's such a good little piece. And then let's say I want to put this wallet in there too. So you can put it in that way. So you can see right now I'm able to fit my cosmetic pouch and this. I have a little bit of space here. So let's say I want to bring a mirror. So I have my little compact mirror and that will fit there. And then I want a little hand lotion. So you could put a hand lotion that way. And then there's still room if you want to put a little lip balm right here. So you can see in here I have my cosmetic pouch, my little wallet. I have some lotion, my lip balm, and then my mirror. So that is a good amount. So let's try a couple other things. Now let's say you're someone that likes to carry a key holder and you also want to have a small wallet. So here is the little Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. Pop that this way. And then let's say you also want to bring a little small wallet, like the compact Zoe wallet. You could put this, um, you could put it in there vertically if you want. I would probably put it in there horizontally. So you can see you have your keys, you have a little wallet, and then there's a lot of space over here. So over here you could put your lip balm in again, uh, you could put your hand sanitizer right here, um, again you could put your little lip gloss on top, and you could even place the mirror in this little back pocket right here, so that's plenty. And you can see that closes uh, really nicely. And I want to try another combination. Let's try another combination that involves your phone because some people don't like to carry their phone. Some people want to have it, don't want to carry their phone out. Some people want to be able to carry it in their purse. So let's see. So here's my phone again. Again, I have the iPhone XR and I have this cute little Kate Spade case that's kind of ombre. My husband and daughter got it for me for Christmas. I love it. Okay, so put that in there. And then let's say we want to put this little wallet. If you want, you could stand it up, but I would probably put it uh, horizontally. And then you have a little mirror that you can put right here. And then let's go ahead and let's put the lip balm and hand sanitizer, which we could, let's see if we could put that in here. Oh, we might be able to move things around a little. So put the hand sanitizer right here. And then if you wanted, you could just kind of place these on top. So that fits quite a bit. And then it closes like so. And also, if you wanted, you could take this stuff out. And if you wanted to carry, or you could take a card holder and put it in like the little back pocket so it will be nice and secure. So let's go ahead and, you know, put the keys in if you want. And then that. 
So there it goes. So as you can see, this is a little handbag, but it fits all of your essentials. Just one of the reasons I'm so excited about it, uh, because you definitely want your bag to be functional and this fits all of your essentials. So I'm so incredibly happy to have added this to my collection. It is a beautiful, beautiful bag. As you can see, this little bag might be small, but she can fit a lot. And I am a huge believer, and I have mentioned this in my best mini bags video, that if you're going to have a small bag, that's great, but you want to make sure that it fits all of your essentials. And as you can see, this bag is so cute and adorable, and it definitely fits your essentials. So I love it so much. I can't wait for the warmer weather for the spring months where I can wear this. I definitely can see myself wearing this with a white dress or a night what nice white blouse I just think it is so incredibly uh, beautiful it really is so I would love to know is there a unicorn bag that you guys have in your collection that you just don't think you could ever part with that's something a little more unique than something else you have I would love to hear your thoughts down below so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions at all uh, make sure to reach out leave it down below if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button I, and I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well and stay tuned because because as I have this bag longer, I definitely plan on doing a proper review for it, but I've only had it for a month. So right now, the best I can do is kind of share with you what fits. So have a good one, you guys, and I will see you in my next video.